What is up everybody, Aoki here, and today we have the reveal of the new champion, Orn. He is looking like he's going to be either played top or support. We're gonna run through his brief, we're gonna briefly run through the video and look at his abilities and maybe some of the applications that he has. So starting up, what is his passive? The Living Forge. Basically, Orn can set up shop wherever he's at on the map and create his own items. So Orn, unlike all the other champions, does not have to go back to the shop. He doesn't have to recall to get items. Um, this can basically be applied in the sense that if he's being played support, maybe you can uh, roam mid without having to go back and get buffer items. Uh, you know, I'm not really sure what other applications that would be. He still has to go back for health, but he doesn't have to go back to buy items. His Q is Volcanic Rupture. Orn slams the ground, sending out a fissure that deals physical damage and slows enemies. After a small delay, a magma pillar forms at the target location, functioning like a tiny wall for a few seconds. Now, this is the only one that doesn't immediately jump out at me and say, hey, this is what this is for. I understand the fissure. Uh, it's damage and it's a slow that makes sense. What I don't really get is how you're supposed to use this tiny wall I mean look how fucking small that is uh, The only application that I can think is maybe blocking off if somebody's escaping between the wall of the map and a turret Kind of like how the thresh lantern, you know You can throw it in between the turret and the wall and it blocks off that person's pathing other than that It's so small. I don't understand what it's going to be used as it's smaller than trundle pillar It's smaller than any other player made terrain we've seen in the game I don't know. Kind of on the wall about that one. His W is Bellows Breath. Orn becomes unstoppable. Shields himself and belches out flames. That's bad manners. These flames deal a portion of the enemy's current health as magic damage. Enemies struck by the final gout of flame become brittle. So brittle is another of the new items or uh, the new ideas that Orn is bringing to League of Legends. Brittle is a new type of CC. So when when enemies are brittle... They suffer from a portion of their maximum health as bonus damage when struck by immobilizing effects. So think of it this way, Orn brings, uh, if you have a champion with CC like Leona and you also have an Orn on the team, anybody made brittle by Orn is going to be stunned longer by Leona. Allied CC on an enemy that's brittle lasts longer. Now we don't know yet if that's going to apply to slows, stuns, uh, you know, any of the other ones, blinds, but so far... That's what we've got. E is his Searing Charge, kind of like a Malphite alt. Let it play out there. So basically, you want to ram an enemy into the wall, and uh, it basically knocks them up. It deals damage and knocks them up. And they sneak this in right here at the last line. This seems uh, kind of important. Not sure why they don't lead with this. This ability destroys player-created terrain. Uh, this could be a direct result of Talia seeing LCS in professional play. Uh, you know, you can get out of a J4 alt with it, break a Talia alt. Uh, I'm assuming you can break the Trundle Pillar. This is, he's the Terrain Smasher. And his alt, his alt is Call of the Forge God. It's basically a reverse Malphite alt. So look at this. You start, you, you cast the ability and it's about two screens away, or one screen away, you like summon this fire ram god thing that travels towards you you then reactivate the ability and he shoots it out so it's like then a projectile that of course knocks up abilities or knocks up enemies excuse me uh so here we, we see a little bit of top gameplay riot not so subtly implying that he's going to be a top laner but as you can see he casts it here and then shoots it towards dr mundo it comes out really fast too you're gonna have, need to have probably pretty good reflexes to be able to flash this ability um but basically i wanted to talk a little bit about why i'm stating my case as to why i think that he's going to be a support uh, i think that he is going to be ivern in the sense that ivern was a jungler with a lot of support tendencies i think that orn is going to be played in top and support he brings a lot of new and different ideas to League of Legends that we haven't seen in any other champion, much like with the jungle mechanics that Ivern brought. We had never seen anything like that before, and Ivern was played support and mostly jungle. Uh, so there you have it. What do you guys think about the new champion, Orn? Do you think he's going to be a top laner? Do you think he's going to be a support? Crossing my fingers for support. Let me know in the comments, and thanks for watching. Peace!